You can set parameters to a value using equals than the value such as P12288 equals 8000. This is our coordinated position of our x-axis on our EPL demo. However, it's not a good idea to set this while the drive is enabled as it will instantly try to go to that position. The controller will also not prevent you from writing to parameters and bits that are read only. Use caution when writing to parameters and bits marked as read only as it may have undesired results. Print prints the value to terminal and as we've seen LRUN both listens to program errors and print statements and executes programs. Comma inserts a tab character between the expressions such as print comma P12288 will tab and then give the value. Semicolon indicates there is no space between the expressions as you saw with the print quotation count equals and quotation semicolon LV0. A print statement that does not end with either a comma or a semicolon produces a carriage return line feed combination. For shorthand, the question mark is the same as print. Note that when printing bits, use print bit 516, as print 516 will print 516 and not the bit response. For controlling binary parameters, use set to set a flag to true and clear CLR to turn the flag off. Set bit 3840 would turn on output 0 on our x-axis of our EPL demo. You could also do set 3840 or bit 3840 equals 1. Note that when you print a bit status, 0 is off, but minus 1 means the bit is true. For comparing flags, parameters, and variables, there are two types of if statements. There is the single line if-then statement. If the comparison isn't true, the then is not executed and it drops through to the next line of code. In the first example, if both bit 24 is on and parameter 6916 is less than 5000, which is the global system clock which starts automatically on power up, so this is saying on power up, then increment global user parameter P0 by 1 and go to start. If this isn't true, it wouldn't increment P0 nor go to start. In the second example, if P0 is greater than 4000, it would go sub to label 100 and then print on its return back from 100. Again, labels can be numbers or letters, aliases cannot have numbers. There is also the if, else if, else, end if multi-line evaluator that allows multiple actions if true or false. Here, if input 24 is on, increment local array 0 element 1 by 1 and then increment x25. If 24 isn't on, but 25 is on, decrease it by 1 and move y to absolute 5. If neither inputs 24 or 25 are on, multiply the array element by pi. If we wanted to change the speed of our square program based on our inputs, let's start with inhibiting on 3334, which is input 7 to turn on and off. INH 3334 and then INH minus 3334 debounces the switch to prevent program from continuously looping when input device is defective. If input 6 is on, at that point in the program set the velocity to 10, I'll set it to 5. Pause the video and add this to your EPL demo. The while conditional compares at the beginning of each loop and W end ends the loop. Use the break to break out of the loop before the condition is met. Use AND, OR, or other Boolean comparators for complex decisions. In this example, if ACR9000 encoder input 1, P6176, is less than 1500 encoder counts, increment local array 0 element 1, increment x 25 units, wait 1.5 seconds, print the local array 0 element 1. If input 24 turns on, break out of the while loop. End if ends the if loop and w end ends the while loop. The for loop will loop a certain number of times. Step is the increment number, typically one step for each loop. Next ends the for loop. Boolean operators can be used to perform logical expressions within programs. In AND, the result will be set if both bits are true. With OR, if either expression bit is set, the result is set. In AND is a NOT AND, and the result is cleared if both expressions are true. With a NOT OR or NOR, if either expression is set, the result is cleared. XOR is the exclusive OR and will only be set if one of the bits is true. XNOR is the NOT exclusive OR and will be set if both bits are set or cleared. 
Okay, back into ACR view and to program zero. If I want to expand my program with all my new found knowledge, found defined counter LV0 will add a, a local variable and it's named counter. Here's the clear before the program. Pboot will have it run automatically on power up dim. Here's my dimensioning for my local variables. I've assigned 10, but I'm only going to use one in this program. There's two go subs here. The first go sub will automatically start the EPL network. If you just type in EPL network into the help file, you'll see an example on that. The second go sub automatically enables the drive. If you go into the help file, just type enable drive. And you'll see the example. You can just copy and paste it. I've added those below in my program down here. If I do a reboot in the terminal emulator, it cycles power on the controller but not the drives. That will cause the drives to fault because they lose their EPL network. So you need to reset the drives to clear those faults before trying to enable the drives. So I've added a drive res XY and then I dwell two seconds before trying to enable the drives. Here's my reset on my XY, here's my loop, and then I'm going to wait on input number 7 to turn on, wait for it to turn off, and then if input number 6 is on, I'm going to set the velocity to 10, I'll set it to 5. The reason I'm using input number 7 is it's the last input on the x-axis EPL demo so I don't want to have a conflict with my limit switches if I enable the limit switches and input number six is the home sensor but I'm using it as a general purpose input. So I do my moves and then I inhibit on the very last move waiting for X coordinate moving to turn off. This will be bit 516 and then I increment my counter and print my counter. If I didn't add this inhibit, it would increment the counter and print the counter even while it was still moving back by zero, and then just loop continuously. Now, what I've also done in PROC 8, I'm going to set this as a pboot, so it'll run automatically on power up as well too. I have here a little loop. If X coordinated is moving, then set X moving as an output. And then if it's not moving, then clear that output and loop continuously. In the define section, I've defined X coordinated moving as bit 516. And then the output is bit 3840, which is output number 0 on my Aries EPL demo. Be sure once you've added program 8, go into the memory section and add 10,000 bytes would be fine for PROG-8 for such a simple little program. And then download. Be sure to download the configuration which has that memory allocation that defines and all programs. So I want to open up the common status panel in the background and minimize it, move it over to the side and open up the terminal emulator. Then just type reboot. Wait for the controller to reboot and then in the terminal window you'll probably need to press enter a couple times. And look in the common status panel. You can see program 0 is running and it's inhibited on line 90. So if we go ahead and, and push input number 7, it'll start moving. Output 0 turns on and it stays on the entire time it's moving. Push it again, it runs again, 
I hold input number six and then push input number seven, it'll run even faster. Now in terms of program eight, now if I run this output, zero will always be on even when the Y is moving, but if the X isn't, is that okay? I named it X moving, but it depends upon the application requirements. Can we command motion on X and bit 516 wouldn't turn on? Yes, bit 516 is saying the master zero is moving for interpolated motion. If you were to do a jog move, gear move, or cam move on X, it'd be moving. So you'd want to check if any other moves were going on and if you only wanted the output to be on when X is actually moving. Instead of this simple little program, we'd want to check for a couple other conditions. And what we would want to do is if it's moving, velocity is not equal to zero, or the jog is active, or the gear is active, or the cam is active, then set the X moving, else clear the X moving. And then I'd also want to add those bits into the define section, and that would look like this. And that would be a duplicate. And that way the output zero would only turn on when the X is actually moving.